Hey lab members, Tony here. We're gonna go ahead and talk about how to hit a three wood. One of our members was asking about that, so it's been a, a long overdue video. And I'd like to thank everybody for their patience as I kind of finish up this uh, dissertation. We got about four studies. We've got a great golf training product we're developing. So my time has been crazy, but I've just finished up with the lesson. I really wanna show you guys, uh, and this, this is what we worked on with the lesson two, is to give you a really good feel of how to really create a good kind of angle of attack of the three wood into the ball because this is what's critical. So with the three wood, ball position is critical. So I want to make sure that when we get set up, we get the ball properly played. And depending on your angle of attack, really kind of determines how you tweak the ball position. But what I want to feel it's like I get this ball right off the inside of my left leg to inside of my left knee. So that's kind of this area, depending on the line and everything else that I want to have in order to properly get through this ball. Now, it's okay to swing down with the three wood. So don't worry about that. If all of a sudden you get a little steep, that's okay because if um, you can kind of trap it. And if you trap it as you're coming down, you're going to kind of hit it a little bit more like an iron. There's nothing wrong with that. So de depending on how you want to hit your shots is really also going to depend on how, your angle of attack. I like to kind of feel like I'm just coming in level, and that's my goal with all my swings, is I want that maximum force being directed into the ball, being level right here. So this is where I place the ball. That's obviously critical. Next thing we want to do is make sure we make a good backswing. If we cut this backswing off short and now we don't have enough power built up, guess what? I'm going to get jerky with it. And as soon as I get my body into it, that shifts the hands out. That's getting me steep and everything else. So make sure you make a great backswing. Get coiled up. And don't worry about it. So the other thing, so on your depth, really feel like you're just kind of stretching for it. This is kind of a, like a simple drill. You can take this club up with one hand. Then bring it back, and you can actually hear the different tone of my voice as I'm really contracting my rib cage in that windup. So that's something you can kind of feel right there. From there, we're back into great sequence. Now, the biggest thing is the better my arm accelerates, and some of the research that we're doing right now with our device is we're seeing an increase in transition and flexion. I'm sorry, in extension. Okay, so. We talked about this extension on the backswing, how this wrist will work this way. Well, what we're seeing at the top is actually it increases as my arm accelerates. And the better I can get my arms to accelerate, the better, greater the increase. Now, we saw probably two to three miles an hour faster this morning by just having our student do that, about getting the arms accelerating, and it actually took less effort. So we had higher club head speed, with less effort, nice combination. Now, when he got up to the top and he kind of shifted it out, guess what? We don't see that increase in extension. And all of a sudden now that club's coming that way, club head speed totally dropped down and he's trying to make up for it. So the biggest thing is here is good ball position. With the stance, I'm gonna leave it up to the individual. But I like to be, you know, get comfortable. It's a big swing. I wanna have a little bit wider stance than normal. So I'm not gonna go as wide with maybe as a driver. It's just a little bit less. So I'm working like this, but find your optimal position. Play around with that. That's what that path is. So it's 2.4 in out. You can see there's no divot. So depending on your path angle, that's really gonna influence the type of shot to hit, obviously. And then also, let's see what angle of attack was. Uh, pretty straight, well, it's only negative 1.7, so that, that's pretty pretty shallow right there. So you can see that it's still a little bit downward of angle of attack, which is great. We Four degrees is what we're looking at with most irons. So coming in a little bit shallower because of the design of the club. I still swinging down on it. So I'm not really swinging up, but if you have a tendency, a good drill for you, if you have a tendency to kind of swing too much down with the driver, 
go ahead and tee it up. Okay. And actually you're trying to swing up like a driver. This is just to give you a feel. So if I swing down too much, I'm actually going to go over it. So maybe do it with an old three wood. So play around with that, how you ran it. And that was 0.5 down. I'm sorry, 0.5 up. So that was real level. So that just gives me a feeling of my arm swing through the ball. So those are the things that you're looking for. We're not really trying to make a different golf swing with the three wood. We're just trying to do what we have to do with based on the design of the club. This shaft is coming in behind the face, so we don't want too much down. But coming in one point, negative 1 1.7 down is, is, to me, just perfect. So from there, control, get that arm acceleration coming down, and you'll hit great shots. Thanks for your patience as we get through the summer, and we're going to be shooting out more videos uh, as soon as I find some time, but thank you.